Hi, I'm Jared Moser with Black Rain Ordnance, and today we're out in the shop to show you how to properly install the new Black Rain Ordnance M-Lock Hybrid Rail System. We're working today on the Bro Spec 15 upper receiver, which is our forged upper receiver, our Chrome Ollie Mil Spec 10 and inch barrel. And as you can see, this one has the delta ring and the Mil Spec barrel nut on it. And we've got this torn down to this point, and we're going to start with the uh, removal of the barrel nut so that we can get into the installation of this rail. So the new Black Rain Ordnance M-Lock Hybrid Handguard is a really neat handguard because it features the compatibility for Magpul's M-Lock accessories to attach. This particular one is our 10-inch, uh, which has access points on the bottom. It does have Picatinny rail sections machined into it. It's recessed for the belly or optic, as well as having six QD points for a sling swivel to be attached. Um, and then obviously, obviously your eight mounting hole screws, which secure it and keep it keep it nice and sturdy on the rifle. So it's going to come with the handguard, obviously. It's going to come with the aluminum barrel nut, which is proprietary for the handguard. And then it's going to come with a little pack of shims, which may or may not need to be used, and we'll get into that during the installation, as well as eight of these Torx head uh, mounting screws. And that's a T15 Torx that you're going to need. Uh, and that'll kind of take us into the tools that you're going to need to do this installation. All right, so installation of the Black Rain Ordnance handguards is fairly simple. It doesn't require a lot of tools. Depending on the setup that you're working with, you're going to need a standard armorer's wrench. Uh, we're using a clamp-on style low-profile gas block, uh, and that's going to require an Allen wrench. And then the new rail screws require a T15 Torx bit for installation. All right, so let's get started with the installation. Uh, at this point, we've got everything pulled off as far as the gas block and the flash hider. The old hand guards are removed. We do have the delta ring and the uh, mil spec barrel nut in there. So that's where our armor's wrench is going to come in. We're going to get in here, make sure it's on there nice and straight so you don't damage anything. Loosen that up. Depending on how long it's been on there, it may or may not come off that fast. We'll set that aside. This is a really good time to pull the barrel out of the upper receiver and do a good cleaning on it and inspection of the barrel extension. Uh, so we'll do that. This one happens to look really good because it's brand new. So we're good there. And everything looks good on the receiver. There's no cracks or anything like that going on. So now we're gonna test fit the, the barrel nut that comes from Black Rain. This is an aluminum barrel nut, you can see it's got uh, a lot of mounting holes on it, which basically is going to give us our options for how deep this mounts on the upper receiver. We want the rail to be as close to the upper receiver as possible. We also need, obviously, these mounting holes to line up with the handguard so that as we're putting it together, uh, we don't strip it or anything. Now, depending on your barrel extension, the upper receiver, the barrel nut itself, that distance can vary, which is why the, the shims are supplied. So we'll thread that on, get it kind of hand tight. And what I like to do is just use your armor's wrench and just put a little bit of a little bit of pressure on it just to make sure it's snug. And what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna see where our rail's gonna, gonna end up against this upper receiver. We don't want it so tight that the holes in the barrel nut don't line up with the rail or we can strip something. And we don't want it so loose that there's a, a gap in between them. So basically rotate to your nearest mounting holes and take a look at that, that gap between the upper receiver and the, the handguard. That's actually, that's actually perfect right there. Now, if I was lining these holes up and I couldn't get the handguard on far enough to line up with the holes, it means that the barrel nut needs to come out a little bit, which is where the shims come in. And basically from this point, what I would do is... Loosen this, loosen this barrel nut up again, and then all I'm going to do is turn it in basically one increment at a time between these holes, and that represents one of these shims. So I'd count, you know, three, four, and now I test fit it and I'm happy with that alignment of the holes, then I, I know it needs four shims in there. 
Um, this one, as, as it will most of the time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be just about perfect when you go to put it on, so I'm not going to have to mess with any of that. So we're just going to torque this down. to right around 40 foot-pounds. I got my torque wrench right here. And then we need to check and make sure that our gas tube will go through the barrel nut and into the upper receiver. Now it's hanging up just a little bit, and as I can see as it's trying to go through, I need to go just a little bit tighter. Almost there. All right, so that looks good. My gas block lines up. I'm gonna do one more test fit and really look at those, those holes in the barrel nut and the holes in the rail and make sure that they line up nice and straight. If they're off at all, you wanna use the shims to make sure that they do line up. There will be, there should be a little bit of a gap between the rail and the, and the receiver, and that's good. And then from here, I've got my holes lined up. I want to make sure that my Picatinny rails on top of the handguard line up with the Picatinny rail on top of the receiver. And everything looks great in that fashion. So we'll pull this off, and we'll start the installation of our gas block. We're using Black Rain Ordnance Low Profile Non-Adjustable Gas Block. So we're gonna put him on here. This attaches and clamps on with an Allen wrench. And we're just gonna just barely snug it. Basically enough that we can make sure this gas block is perfectly straight up and down. Because if that's not lined up, this thing's not gonna run right. I'm happy with that. So we'll snug these down and just do them a little bit at a time in sequence. You don't want them too tight to where you break down the clamp of that. That's good and snug there. Um, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do our flash hider installation. We've got a new crush washer. Inspect the threads both on the flash hider and the barrel. Make sure there's no burrs or anything or any coating material um, that can cause these to bind up. It should go nice and smooth. If you have to fight it, it's gonna cause a problem. Now you could use an open end wrench or an adjustable wrench. Uh, the, Magpul, the Magpul tool works great. And we're gonna center that up. That looks perfect. Now we'll put our hand guard on. I like to start all these by hand just to make sure that the threads aren't binding or cutting in because you don't want to cross thread these. They should go in nice and smooth. Now these do have, with eight screws, you've basically got eight points of contact that are holding this handguard onto the barrel nut so it's really sturdy. Um, as you put it on, and kind of snug them, it is free floating, so there can be a little bit of movement in there as far as your barrel being centered in the handguard. So before you torque it down, you want to make sure that it's, it's sitting centered, and then you want to torque them down in sequence as well to make sure that it doesn't pull to one side. Now we run these in the uh, little 12 volt DeWalt's. You just want them snug, they don't need to be tight. If you've, if you've installed an uninstalled handguard several times, it's not a bad idea to use just a little bit of blue Loctite on them, just to make sure everything's nice and snug. These, these little DeWalt's and, and uh, Bosch makes good ones too, but they, they work great because they've got a, a torque brake feature in them where it won't over tighten. So you can set it you know, on a setting where it's just a little tighter than hand tight and you know spinning it in there, it's not gonna 
not going to strip anything out. Obviously, do it by hand with the, the same thing with a, a standard hand torque wrench or a Torx bit, and uh, you know you just want them to be snug. They don't need to be they don't need to be crazy tight. And that's it. We're ready to go. So that wraps up the installation of the Black Rain Ordnance M Lock Hybrid Handguard. To check these handguards out and all the other products that we have, check out our website, blackrainordinance.com. I'm Jared Moser. Thanks for watching.